Um, I hope the deal gets uh, concluded. I don't think Twitter Twitter's board has any choice other than to uh, extract the, the the deal at 5420. That's their fid uh, fiduciary responsibility now. So I, if the deal doesn't get done, this is going to get dragged out in the courts for a long uh, period of time. It'd be very unfortunate. Uh, I think uh, Twitter is a unique asset. It is, you know, it generates five billion a year in revenue. It's highly influential, and by the way, it generates positive free cash flow. There's a good business here, and I hate to see something like this uh, disrupted because I'm sure it's being disrupted internally. So, I, my guess is that the deal does go through at the end because this is an asset that uh, Elon Musk, in his heart of hearts, cares deeply about. But if it doesn't go through, this is going to get dragged through the courts for years. Mark, just yesterday there was news of what was it? Layoffs on some uh, another part of the uh, Twitter team. I think we've seen executive departures. Why press ahead with all of this if the company itself isn't sure that this deal is going to happen? That's a good question, Kelly. I'm not sure why they did that, but I will tell you, we've seen uh, kind of across the consumer tech landscape, you know, layoff or hiring freeze upon hiring freeze is one of the reasons we cut estimates across the board for all uh, internet names, including Twitter uh, earlier this week. I mean, the companies are telling you uh, whether either through leaked memos from uh, Meta or just from their actions, uh, um, slowing down uh, hiring plans, freezing or even cutting employees. Companies are very worried about demand trends. That's, that's my read of it. So. Uh, um, you know, numbers are coming down. That's my guess as to what really happened at uh, at Twitter. But it's also a sign of there's been a lot of disruption at the company, a lot of turnover just in this short period of time. You know, this deal has, in some ways, impaired uh, Twitter. You know, sure. near term. Certainly a reason why the board's going to, if if they they can't conclude this deal, this was going to drag through the courts for years. Julia, is there any way Musk is able to consummate this deal at a much lower price now? Well, look, that's something that uh, that he would have to negotiate directly with the board that has no incentive to take a lower price than what they already agreed to. So, um, it, you know, it's interesting just to, to reflect on what Mark just said is that a lot of the people here, you know, a lot of these media companies here have partnerships with Twitter. They understand the value and the potential reach of Twitter and also the idea that Twitter is not accessible to the mainstream. It's sort of there is this foreign language they use on Twitter. So. A lot of people here have said they would be really excited to see what Musk would do at Twitter. And there was some hope that Musk would go forward with this deal and make some great improvements to the platform. So um, so I think unless there is there is effective litigation, he's going to be stuck with a 5420 price. But Kelly, maybe maybe he'll he'll do the deal and um, and make the platform um, more effective and more accessible. You no, know, again, as a user myself, I, I would love to see the changes he makes because he does have a good feel for these users and kind of the, the services that they might need. Jim, what do you think? Billion dollar breakup fees? You're going to be forced to pay it some sort of smaller settlement. Where where would this play out if uh, if he doesn't take over the company? Yeah, I think that you know while Twitter may have strong legal grounds, the sheer uh, disruption, as Mark pointed out, of litigation, the cost of litigation, there is an incentive to reach some kind of settlement. And that could be a lower price. True, he's locked in at that, that higher price, but anything is negotiable. And if the alternative is he's walking away and wants to litigate for years, Twitter might agree to a somewhat lower price. And the same thing with the breakup free fee. If he really walks away and then wants to sue, saying it's their fault over these bot users, uh, you know, there may be a price less than a billion dollars where it makes sense for them to settle and put this behind them. Right, and obviously Twitter trying to give as much data as it can to say that figure is wrong. Yesterday they were saying they delete a million accounts a day that are bots. I mean, it was just, just a staggering amount to think about uh, as this fight goes on. We'll leave it there we're in limbo uh, for the time being. Thank you everybody for your thoughts today. We appreciate sure. it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.